Hello friends, this is Aryan and this video is brought to you by Crypto. In this video, we will be learning about the ADX, also known as the Average Directional Movement Index. Now, this indicator tells us about the strength of the trend that is there in the market. All right. So whether the trend is bearish or bullish, it tells us about the strength of whatever trend is pertaining in the market. Right. Next, it also tells us about when a breakout is likely to take place. All right. It tells us when the market is consolidating and when a breakout is likely to take place. And hence, it's also called the breakout indicator. Now, what are the benefits of using this indicator? Number one, it helps us stay away from choppy and sideways market. All right. It tells us when the market is consolidating and it tells us when the market is choppy or sideways. And hence, it helps us protect our, our capital because we see most of the traders lose money during choppy and sideways market, including myself. I've had, uh, I've experienced it so many times that uh, in the choppy or sideways market, we get wrong indications and then we end up in losses, right? So number one, it helps us with this. Next, it also tells us when to take a profit. Uh, so many times we get into profit, but then either we end up at break even or sometimes even in losses. So this indicator will, will help us book a profit at the right time. So there are two ways of using this indicator. Number one is we can use it as a breakout indicator. All right. So how do we do this? We look at the ADX. So if the ADX is above 25, then a breakout is likely to take place and the market is trending. But if the ADX is below 25, the market is choppy or sideways and hence we do not trade. Let's... Uh, have an example. So you see in this picture, you see this area, the ADX was consolidating around 25 and so was the price consolidating, right? But once the ADX gave a breakout above 25, you see the market rally and it was a good uh, bullish trend. All right, so this is how it helps us. Uh, identify to uh, helps us to identify breakouts. Next, this indicator can also be used as a buy or sell indicator. Now, how does this happen? So, you see, there are two lines. All right, there's a green line and there's a red line. So, the green line is known as the positive DI, and the red line is known as the negative DI. Okay. Now, whenever the positive DI or the plus DI crosses above the negative DI or the minus DI. There is a bullish crossover and it generates a buy signal. But whenever there is a crossover of negative DI over positive DI, which means that the negative DI will be over positive DI, then it generates a sell signal. All right. So these are the two signals that it generates. Let's have a look uh, here. Here you see in this area, there's a bullish DI crossover. Now, what does that mean? That means that positive DI crossed over the negative DI, all right? And hence, we go long here. We go long here and we see this is a good rally. Next, uh, here you see there's a bearish DI crossover. Again, here we see there's a bullish DI crossover. There's a bearish DI crossover here because the negative DI has crossed above the positive DI. You see, this is the positive DI, this is the negative DI, the red line, and it has moved above the green lines, the positive DI. All right, now using these two methods, all right, the breakout indicator and the buy sell indicator, we can develop a simple trading strategy. All right, so the trading strategy is pretty simple. Number one thing what you're going to look at is the ADX. Now, the ADX should always be above 25 when we, when we are trading by because we do not want to get stuck in a choppy market. So, the ADX should be above 25. Next, what we need to look at is whether we should initiate a buy trade or whether we should initiate a sell trade. So for that, we will look at the positive and the negative DI. So if the positive DI is over negative DI, which means that we need to go bullish. However, if the negative DI is above positive DI, it means that we need to go bearish. Let's have a look in this picture. Uh, so you see the ADX is above 25 and there is a bearish crossover, the positive, DI, uh, the negative DI move over above the positive DI and we generate a sell trade here. There is trade here and we get a good correction 
and we book our profits on here. All right, we get clear indications of reversal here. We book it here. Next, we see there's a bullish divergence. Sorry, uh, a bullish crossover here. Uh, the ADX is above 25, and the positive VI is crossed above the negative VI. And we take long trade here. We again get a good rally. Right. So this is how the ADX system works. Uh, now I'll show you uh, with an example on the crypto app itself. All right, friends. So here we are in the crypto app and we are looking at the Ethereum INR chart. Let's get the ADX indicator on our chart. We need to type the M. Um, all right, we get the directional movement. Now, here you see there are three lines. All right, there's a red line, there's a blue line, and there's an orange line, or you can say the yellow line. Now, the red line is the negative DI, the blue line is the positive DI, and the yellow or the orange line is the ADX. All right, now let's try to find a bullish trade. Now here I see a bullish trade, it was generated right here at the price of at the price of 1,33,800 and you see that the price moved up all the way to 1,34,800, right, that's a good move. Let's try to look at a bearish trade. Okay, here I see a bearish trade. You see there's a bearish crossover. The negative DI has moved above the positive DI. All right, now this tells us that the bears have taken control of the market and now the market is going to fall. <coughs> you see here the trade was uh, generated at the top of somewhere around uh, 134800 and then you see that the price moved all the way down to 133200 That's a good move again, all right? So you see that the indicator is doing wonders uh, it's a simple simple strategy but what it requires is discipline all right you need to wait for the trades you need to wait for the right setup and then only you need to take the trades let's look at a few other trades as well all right this i think is a good trade again uh, it gave us a buy signal right at the low okay you see the low was made at somewhere around 1 lakh 31 and it moved all the way up to 1,33,000. Now that's a really good move of 2,000 plus points, you see. And and the time zone is also not much, you see. Uh, within, say, about within 15 candles, it, it gave a move of uh, 2,000 plus points. That's wonderful, right? So you see, friends, the indicators really work. But only thing we need to look at is that we are using the right indicators for a right market. And the most important thing is that we need to be disciplined we need to wait for the right setup we need to follow our strategy and we need to protect our capital all right so that's it uh, for this video we will meet soon in the next video thank you so much